Hi, CPU Kid here, and I'm going to upgrade to the new firmware 3.7. I'll use Pandora's battery to downgrade back to 1.5. So right now, I'm running 1.5. Alright, it's not USB. PSP game update okay here's the 3.7 update but just so people will believe me I'll put I'll do it all again so my documents PSP stuff firmwares 3.7 update extract to here Alright, here's the eboot. About 23 megs. Alright, copy over to game update. Alright, so now it's on the PSP. We're we'll gonna go ahead and upgrade. Start. Oh, 1.5, so this list is going to be huge for all the new features. Alright, then hit X to upgrade. Alright, so it's formatting and it's installing the firmware. And just to clarify, this is not a PSP Slim, this is just an original regular PSP fat if you want to call it and as far as I know Pandora's battery will work on any firmware out there custom firmware or Sony firmware so that's why this works because they can't block out the updates because that's how they unbreak it which is awesome for us We're getting there. Alright, it's done. Alright, I have the Pandora's battery here right now, so if I turn it on, it'll automatically do that. And I have to show you the 3.7. So if I take out the number stick 2 and fire it up.
Okay, it's taken forever. Okay. Well, I'm not liking the 3.7 already. Alright, so I'm running 3.7. Um, here's some of the new features. Under theme, there's color. Under here, you got PlayStation Spot. And it's just a bunch of other features. But for now, we're going to... Put Pandora in. And then X to downgrade to 1.5 with the 1.5 update eboot renamed to update.pvp on the root of the memory stick. And it's reading off the memory stick. And this will come up whatever, just hit X. So even if it does brick, then you can just reflash it. Forty four per cent. Eighty one per cent. And it's done. Alright, and it'll shut down. Remove Pandora. Open the memory stick. And fire. Oh, the battery fell back into place. It's no biggie. There's an internet icon, so we're back at 1.5. So you can upgrade, check it out all you want until the custom firmware comes out for the M33 team, and you know they'll have one out because their team's awesome. And so I guess we can be expecting that in the next week, probably less than that. And so this video is just a proof to see that the Pandora battery just works on the newest firmware. Um, for more hacking tips, you can go to PSPHacking101.com, PSPmodified.com, and PSPHacks.tk, and you can download themes, and there's, they're great forums, so, that's about it, CPU out.